Let's take a moment to talk about taxiing. Taxiing refers to moving the aircraft on the ground under its own power. In particular, getting from the ramp out to the hold short point on the edge of the runway. Steering on the ground is managed through the rudder pedals. That's right, unlike driving a car, we turn by using our feet. Okay, ready? With the throttle idle, release your parking brake. Okay. Now, gently increase throttle to get the aircraft moving. All right. Use your rudder pedal to turn left and enter the taxiway. As you increase power, watch the tachometer and make sure to stay around 1,000 RPM. Test the brakes. Good. Brakes checked. Taxi to the next exit, then come to a stop. Remember to control your speed with throttle and brakes. See the crossing in front of us? Stop before it as if traffic was coming off the runway. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. Unfortunately, one of your wheels crossed out of the taxiway. Taxi to the next exit, then come to a stop. Remember to control your speed with throttle and brakes. See the crossing in front of us? Stop before it as if traffic was coming off the runway. Taxi to Holding Point Alpha 1 next. It's at the far end of the airport near the head of runway 21. Stay as close as possible to the taxiway center marked by the yellow line and watch your speed. Watch your speed. After the right turn, come to a stop before the hold short point in prep for takeoff. Remain on the taxiway center line. You don't want to risk damaging the aircraft. The next challenge will be to keep the aircraft under control while at full throttle for takeoff.
There's an old saying I like. A mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Check to the right to see if a vehicle is on the runway, and to the left to make sure no other planes are approaching. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Good. Now gently pull back on the yoke. to take off. And we're airborne. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Maintain 75 knots and climb to 5,500 feet. Okay, 5,500 feet. You've reached your target altitude. That was a nice takeoff. For this landing exercise, I want you to focus on the yoke only. We're close enough to the runway to land safely without adding any throttle. Maintain a speed of around 65 knots. Pitch down if you're going too slow. Pitch up if you're too fast. speed at 60. 
65 knots. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. To flare means to raise the nose of the aircraft to slow your descent for a softer landing, but without ever leveling off or climbing. The main landing gear will touch down before the nose wheel does. We're coming up on flare height. Resist the temptation to pull back. Now focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Nice. Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Well done, but there's room for improvement. Keep in mind that approaching the runway at the right speed is key to a good landing. this landing exercise, I want you to focus on staying on the glide path using the throttle only. Smooth action on the throttle is key for remaining on the correct glide path. If you find yourself too high, reduce your power. If you're too low, increase it. Remember though, always make soft corrections. You don't want to overcompensate. elevator to land. Reduce throttle to idle. Now focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Nice. Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. You did well, but you can do better.
my first instructor used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. And I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. throttle to idle. Now focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Nice. Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. That was excellent. Okay, we're currently flying on the downwind leg at the standard traffic pattern altitude of 6,000 feet. It's a flight path parallel to the landing runway, but in the opposite direction. In downwind, you want to start preparing for landing. That means setting your speed and flaps configuration. Reduce speed to 80 knots. Maintain constant altitude and heading. The flaps provide extra lift at the expense of additional drag. This extra lift allows flying at a lower airspeed. Flaps allow for smoother and shorter landings. Go ahead and extend 10 degrees of flaps, all while maintaining current altitude. We're gonna fly past the end of the runway here. Keep going until you see it at a 45 degree angle behind you. That's your cue to turn left onto the base leg.
left onto the base leg. approach and prepare for landing. practice will help your accuracy though. flight. I'll be watching from the ground in radio contact if you need me, but something tells me you won't. Your goal is to complete Sedona's left-hand traffic pattern on your own. Remember what we covered in our previous sessions and you'll be just fine. Good luck. See you on the other side.
practice may be a good idea. You're on your way to becoming one hell of a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> 